Hello all, my name is Adonis. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Pisces out there for the week of the 14th, July 14th to the 20th. So again, that's all a love coming spread for all my Pisces out there for the week of July 14th to the 20th. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Summer Rising Venus Jupiter, Summer Rising Venus Jupiter, Summer Cards I need to see, Summer Cards I need to see for all my Pisces out there. See what kind of love is coming towards them the week of July 14th to the 20th. Some, some Moon Rising Venus Jupiter, so many cards I need to see for all of my Pisces out there to see what kind of love is coming towards them the week of July 14th into the 20th. Okay, here we go. Okay, alright Pisces. So, Right off the bat, we got the Three of Swords. So, that tells us here that this person that's coming towards you the week of uh, July 14th to the 20th, they're dealing with uh, they're dealing with some heartbreak, some heartache there. There was a third party involved in their situation, and they're dealing with a lot of, uh, uh, they're dealing with a, a, a minimal, a substantial amount of heartbreak on their part. So, that's something that you definitely want to be aware of um, with this individual coming towards you um, on the 14th to the 20th. Now, they're looking for also here we have the Six of Wands. So, they're looking for some type, some sort of recognized victory. They're looking for something, something that's real. Something that they can recognize that feels like it's their own. Because as I just told you, um, they were in a situation previously probably possibly involving a, a third party. So... Uh, because of that, you know, they definitely are looking for a win. Putting in the layman's terms, they're looking for a win, definitely. Um, they're looking also here, we have the death card. So, in addition, they're looking for endings and new beginnings. So, they're looking to completely uh, 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 be done with that. Um, they're looking to completely be done with that previous relationship, with that connection, with this other, in, un, other individual. Blah, 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 I can't talk today. Other individual, and they're looking to for for new beginnings with someone else. Okay, so right now that appears to be you. In addition, here we have the sun card. So in addition, this individual is looking for uh, happiness, material happiness, uh, emotional happiness. That, you know, they're, they're just looking for basically just a, a, um, a, a, a overall fresh start, basically. Um, we also, we have the Judgment card. So that Judgment card, that tells us that this individual is also looking for, uh, this individual coming towards you, is that they're looking for uh, a renewal. A renewal. Uh, and and, and pro possibly, probably a renewal in um, their faith, faith and relationships, to be frankly honest with you. Um, <clears throat> they're looking for like a renewal, um, um, a renewal in, 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 in relationships, probably an overall renewal in the energy that they, that, that, that they, they want to feel, they want to feel positive, uh, they're coming from a really negative place. Um, we also, we have the justice card here. So justice card here is they're looking for some truth. They're not looking for any bullshit. They're not looking for any, uh, to be around any liars. They're looking for some truth here. Um, so, like I said, recognize victory. We got the Six of Wands here. So, looking for a recognized victory. Something that's going to give them some sense of foundation. Now, funny enough here, we got the Lovers card. So, what that tells us is that, hey, listen, this person is looking for someone uh, that completes them. Possibly a twin soul flame connection, that sort of thing. They're, so, they're, they're looking... Um, to really be in uh, 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 with someone they can be harmonious with, uh, someone that kind of like you know they can like vibrate on the same frequency sort of thing. So they're lo really looking for uh, not only a physical connection but a spiritual connection, a full body connection, if you will, uh, with with someone. Now you got the seven of cups here. Now, this is something that I really want to make you aware of. You are definitely. Um, you're definitely in their in their sights, but there are other seven of wands here. Seven, excuse me, seven of cups here says that you know there are other people also 
that they're looking at as well. They're, they have some options. They got some options here because they're looking, you know, they're looking at you, but they're looking at other people too. So, you know, uh, if you're definitely in the market, be on your P's and Q's here. Don't think that just because this person's coming at you, you got it made. Nope. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to put a little bit of work in to make this thing work. Um, in addition here, we got the Two of Cups. This Two of Cups tells us that the person coming towards you, again, not only, again, as I told you before, we got the lovers here. We got the love. We have, we have, we have the, we have the lovers here. And then, of course, we have the Two of Cups here. So a twin, Saint Flick, twin soul flame connection, but also someone they can be friends with. Again, the the whole completion here, possibly like I said, someone they can they can work with, they can talk to, they can vibe with. So uh, uh, they want to be able. To, they're looking for someone they connect on a lot of different cylinders with. So that's just you know I just want to make you aware of that. And again, um, they're looking for something long term here, something serious, someone they vibe with. But again, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work for this. This is this is not just gonna just bang this person is interested in you, so it's just gonna happen. You're gonna have to put the work in also to make sure this thing has success. So, with that being said, let's see what's what what kind of strength what kind of strengths do you guys have? What kind of strengths are you working with with this particular situation here? Someone rising Venus Jupiter, someone rising Venus Jupiter. So what kind of strength my prices are dealing with from the week of July twenty uh, July fourteenth to the twentieth? So rising Venus, you can please show me the kind of strength that all my Pisces are going to be dealing with during the week of July 14th until the 20th. Okay. What kind of strength you are dealing with here. So. Right off the bat here, we got the Eight of Cups. So, as a strength, what that's saying to us is, hey, listen, one of your strengths here, and actually, particularly in this situation, as I've been stating, I'm going to probably state it a couple more times before I'm done with this reading here, is that you're going to have to work for this Reading, you're gonna have to, you're gonna, excuse me, you're gonna have to work for this particular uh, relationship to bear some fruit here. This potential relationship to bear fruit here. But what, what the Eight of Cups is saying is that, hey, additionally, if it doesn't go your way, you're not afraid to walk away. And that's the strength that you have. You're, you're not afraid to walk away um, if things don't look like they're going the way that you, you, you kind of need them to. So you, you, that is definitely a positive card to have. You don't want. No one doesn't want to be in a situation where they're not wanted. That's just that's just life. Um, in addition, here we have the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands tells us that hey, um, another strength is again tension, conflict, this and that. Uh, another strength that you presumably have, you know, is that hey, um, you're willing to defend your position in case other people come around and try to challenge you. Uh, you know, try, 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 you know, these other options that are out there. You're not afraid to say, hey, listen, maybe give me a try. You know, you're not afraid to, uh, to kind of like, you know, maybe um, flex your muscle a little bit. Let other people know, hey, listen, you know, um, you know, you're just not going to stay there and play dead. If something get you know, interests you as well, you're not afraid to fight for it, in other words. So that's definitely a positive, uh, definitely something positive in that regard. Um, addition here, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands says, hey, you know what? You have the ability to, uh, the Queen of Wands um, is, is a very, very, uh, a very passionate, again, it's a fire sign, fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. Um, but the fire also um, has the ability to attract, track things, uh, track people and things to itself. So that is, that is definitely, uh, a, definitely a feather in your cap, Pisces, that you have the ability to attract to you what you want. So hey, that's not a bad thing, right? In addition, we have the Hermit card here. What the Hermit card tells me is that another another uh, a positive attribute that you possess is that you know you have the ability to go with from within, look within yourself. You you have the ability to do a lot of self examination, and that is definitely a positive thing because a lot of people, believe it or not, don't have the ability to look at themselves. 
uh, that don't look within themselves. Again, they don't they don't have the ability to do that. And anyone that has the ability to do that definitely uh, has an advantage for sure. In addition, here we have the um, we have the seven of wands. And again, just like with the five of wands, you know you are not afraid to defend your position. You know you believe that you have the high ground in a situation that this person really begins to, to show interest in you, you're not afraid to protect your spot, to defend your spot. Say, listen, you know, you're digging me, I'm digging you, let's make this happen. You're not afraid to, to speak up about it, to take a defensive position, but you know, like I said, there are other options out here that this individual uh, could potentially be looking at as well. So you want to let them know, hey, I'm the right person for you. So you're not afraid to verbalize that, which is key here. In addition, we have the justice card also. For you that says you know what um you're looking for some truth as well you're not looking to play any games any kind of bs as well in addition here we have the ace of wands and the ace of wands against fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius and that is a that is a sexual energy sexual passion so you also have a lot of sexual energy a sexual passion um and that is you know again creativity so hey that is another strength that you're dealing with here, which is again, as I said, it's not a bad thing to have. And 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 you know, and and with this particular uh, reading here, in addition here we have the we have the four four swords. Again, just like with the with the hermit, it's kind of reiterating, doubling down on that. You know, uh, self you know self reflection, self examination. Um, you have the ability to rest, relaxation, contemplation, inner guidance. You have, you have, you have the ability to look from within um, to, to help give you some guidance. And again, not a lot of people have that ability. So that is absolutely um, a feather in your cap for sure. And finally here we have the Two of Wands. Which says that, hey, you know what? You have choices too, you know? Um, this individual coming towards you, uh, again, it, lo it looks like this could definitely be something, uh, a positive experience for you. But in case things don't go, uh, you know, that don't look like they're leaning your way, you know, not only are you not afraid to walk away, but you got choices too. There's other people that, that you, that there's other options that you could take as well. So that's always a positive thing. So... Uh, let's see what kind of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this uh, particular situation. What kind of things from your past could possibly affect um, could possibly uh, affect how this whole thing turns out? Two cards under the pop out. We're gonna go with those. Some rising Venus, Jupiter. Some rising Venus, Jupiter. Some cards I need to see. Some of the cards I need to see for all my price like this. See what kind of things are affecting from their past. They could possibly affect the outcome of this situation here. Take these two. All right. So, right off the bat, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay? So, something from your past that could definitely be affect, that could possibly affect the outcome of this is um, Page of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, uh, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, a Taurus Energy. Uh, what could again? This is a sense of messages. So definitely, what could affect you from possibly affecting you from your past is the Page of Pentacles. Um, again, they kind of take they take care. They're ex examination, taking care, sending very specific messages. Um, like I said, careful, careful messaging. Um, something that could possibly affect you from your past for sure is the fact that. You know, being able to have any ability to kind of send messages here. Like I said, you don't, you um, have the ability, you will defend your position. And again, sending messages, something from your past that could possibly affect the situation here is just because necessarily you have the ability to verbalize uh, 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 your interest in someone and verbalize your position, possibly from your past, that, you know, that being as though you did that in the past. It could definitely affect the outcome of this, and this is here. This is how. Um, just because you have the ability to communicate and, 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 and you know, have a definitive position doesn't mean that the other person 
is going to be accepting of that. That's just the way it goes. Um, you know, um, you know uh, that possible other individual can consider that, but you being kind of bossy or or something to that in that regard. So that's just something I just want to make you aware of. You know, like I said, and that's why it's a good a good uh, uh, a good thing that you're not afraid to walk away. It doesn't because it, it, in case it doesn't work the way that you want it to, because you will speak up and say, "Hey, listen, you know, I'm the one you want. Let's get this thing popping." They may not respond positively to that. That's all I'm saying. In addition here, you got the King of Wands. Again, you know, something that could affect you, uh, you know, can to have uh, affect this situation is that, again, King of Wands uh, is, is, again, is, is a fire sign energy. Um, <clears throat> uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, again, King of Wands, very wise decision making, but also a visionary. Has the, the ability to kind of see things, has uh, see things in the distance, and um, you know from your past. Again, this is a, a talent that you have from your past. If you look at the situation and you say, you know what, um, it doesn't look like this is going to bounce my way, and and, and you walk away, that'll def that'll def that could definitely affect the outcome of this situation. Again, so. Um, <laughs> Doubling down on that, um, and at least basically go hand in hand. You got the four pinnacles here, which is again something from your past. You like a short success, so you like you like dealing with what you consider to be a short thing. And if it looks like this thing is not going to be a short thing, then you know you know you could possibly be like you know what I'm not really feeling this. It doesn't look like this is bouncing my way. I'm out again. Eight of Cups. You're not afraid to walk away if it doesn't if it doesn't look like it's coming your way. So that's that's um, that's definitely something that could possibly affect it. Same thing, pretty much being verbalized here by the Six of Wands. You want to recognize victory. So you're looking for a recognized victory, a short success, four of Pentacles. Pretty much the same thing. You definitely uh, uh, are saying the same thing in this regard of this particular reading here. You definitely want to recognize uh, victory for sure. You don't want to. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want them wasting your time. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a recognized victory. Then you're like, you're like, I'm out. Um, and finally, here we have the hangman. And the hangman. The hangman is saying here pretty much it, it's a suspended decision. And again, something from your past that could definitely affect the outcome of the situation is, again, you're not afraid to put the brakes on something. You know, this is all pretty much pretty much highlighting one specific point about you is that if things you're, you're look you're willing to stand up and, and fight for what you want but if it doesn't look like it's moving in your direction you're not afraid to walk away you're not afraid to suspend the decision like i said with the hangman here you're not afraid to put suspend the decision move on you want a short success you want to recognize victory you know you have the ability to kind of look down the road to see how this thing is going to play out Again, if it doesn't look like it's moving your way, you're not afraid to bounce. So that's that's pretty much what's going to be going down the week of July uh, 14th to the 20th. All my pipes out there. So let's see if the spirits have any additional information that they want to bestow upon you before I shut this thing down. Okay. Spirit wants to say here, right off the bat, perspective. So, Spirit wants, Spirit wants you to put things in perspective. Like, you know, uh, again, and, I, and, 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 I, and I, I do pretty much think that uh, doing from the reading of these cards, what I'm feeling here and what I'm seeing here is that you definitely have put things in perspective. If things don't work out the way that you want or that you need them to, then you're not afraid to put it in perspective. It's not the end of the world. And like I said, I saw here in the cards, you're not afraid to walk away from the situation, um, you know, or or or, or sus suspend, you know, the actions that you were taking to move on s somewhere else. So, uh, again, I do believe that's what Spirit want, pretty much wants you to know. And, again, uh, I, I think that with that, you pretty much got the message on that. So, you know, um, Spirit just wanted to reiterate that, but I think that you pretty much... Um, 
you're pretty much in the ball there. In addition, Spirit wants you to know you should listen. Listen. You know, uh, listen to others. Listen to what this person is going through. You know, um, again, as I said, this person is coming off of a heartache. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to be uh, too judgmental before you decide to shut things down. Maybe listen and see where this individual maybe he's coming from. You know, some people, uh, it takes them a while sometimes to recover from a hurt, you know. And, and, and sometimes the best way to heal a hurt is to just move on to something, to, to move right on to something else quickly. Um, now, that may not be the most healthy way of dealing with um, heartache, but that's what most, most of, well, not most of us, some of us do to kind of, you know, we move on to something else real quick. It, it's the heart is not severe, which is why we have a lot of rebounds. Uh, but that's just human nature. So maybe you know you may want to listen to see this person's perspective before you decide to say, ah, you know what, this isn't going away. I, I needed to go. I'm going to bounce. Maybe just kind of listen. Like I said, listen, put things in perspective. And finally, here, spirit wants to say, rediscovery. Maybe reach within yourself, rediscover love, compassion, positive energy, positive vibes. A rediscovery within yourself. Um, because maybe, you know, it also could be the fact that, you know, like I said, you're not afraid to walk away from the situation. Things don't exactly go the way that you want. Um, maybe what you need to do is rediscover what it was like to really feel what true deep love feels like. And a really deep loss feels like. In other words, put yourself in their shoes. And then maybe you'll get more of a sense of what they're going through. So with that being said, I think that is pretty solid advice here. Um, I, I, that's what I feel. That's what I see. So again, thank you so much for listening, guys. My name is Adonis. Um, hopefully this resonates with you. If it doesn't, please feel free to get a personal reading. I'll leave all the information below. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.